subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. Do not be comfort to this world. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 and 16 says, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father but from the world. Yet, John chapter 3 verse 16 begins, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In the Bible, the term world can refer to the earth and physical realm, but it most often refers to the humanistic system that is at odds with God. When the Bible says that God loves the world, it is referring to the human beings who live here. And, as his children, we are to love other people. In the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 30 to 37, the parable of the Good Samaritan makes it clear we cannot pick and choose whom to love. When we are told not to love the world, the Bible is referring to the world's corrupt value system. Satan is the god of this world, and he has his own value system contrary to God's. 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 details exactly what Satan's system promotes. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life. Every sin imaginable can be summed up in those three evils. Envy, adultery, pride, lying, selfishness, and more spring from those three roots. The world is what we leave when we come to Christ. Isaiah 55 7 says that coming to God involves a forsaking of our own ways and thoughts. The world often applauds sin. Hollywood encourages us to envy sinners and to foolishly compare ourselves with the beautiful people. It says in Proverbs chapter 23 verse 17, Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. Often the popularity of stars is due to their ability to stir in us to satisfaction with our own lives. Advertisers prey on our natural tendency to love this world, and most marketing campaigns appeal in some way to the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, or the pride of life. Loving the world means being devoted to the world's treasures, philosophies, and priorities. God tells his children to set their priorities according to his eternal value system. We are to seek first God's kingdom and righteousness. In Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24, Jesus said, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God in money. When we enter God's family through faith in Christ, God gives us the ability to exit the world's rat race. We become citizens of another kingdom. Our desires turn heavenward, and we begin to store up eternal treasure. We realize that what is truly important is eternal, not temporal, and we stop loving the world. To continue to love the world the way unbelievers do, will cripple our spiritual growth and render us fruitless for God's kingdom. In Luke chapter 6 verse 43 to 45, Jesus says, For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil, for out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. In John, chapter 12, verse 25, Jesus took this thought a step further when he said, Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Not loving the world extends to our own lives as well. Jesus said if we love anything more than him, we are not worthy of him. In general, the term world in the Bible refers to the evil system controlled by Satan that leads us away from worship of God. John Calvin said, The human heart is an idol factory. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 21 and 22, Jesus said, But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. We can make idols out of anything, any passionate desire of our hearts that is not put there by God for his glory, can become an idol. Loving the world is idolatry. So, while we are commanded to love the people of the world, we are to be wary of anything that competes with God for our highest affections. In 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 7 to 10, and verse 14, it says, Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat, and drink and rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble, as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry.
please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.